It rained last night. We spent the day in Santa Barbara. Then when we got back, we needed to pull our stuff in. Everything is fine. The only thing I want to make sure is that the mats dry. I don't want to fold them and put them away while they're damp. Uh, we're leaving tomorrow, so I don't think it's supposed to rain today, so hopefully these will dry out. I just kind of swept them, swept the dirt off and letting them dry out. Yesterday we had a great day in town. We went to uh, back to Bucatini and ordered some different dishes there and then we uh, went to the boathouse. Uh, that's another place I would highly recommend if you're coming to Santa Barbara, the boathouse at Hendry's. It's up a ways uh, north from downtown, but it's uh, a restaurant that's right on the sand, so a really gorgeous place for drinks, dinner, happy hour. So hung out there for a little bit, and then we went back to Bouchon for another nice dinner. And today we're going to do some maintenance, and I think we may be going to Cold Spring Tavern. If we go there, I'll definitely take some video. That's a really fun place to visit. After we sanitized the fresh water tank, we drove to Buellton. And I think that was a 30 or 40 minute drive from Goleta, the campground that we're staying at. And uh, Sanford Winery is there among many others. And it's got a great vibe, great wine, beautiful rolling hills, of course. So Craig took an opportunity to take some photos. And then after that, we drove to Industrial Eats to have dinner. That was a recommendation from our server at Bouchon. These are some of Craig's photos that he took at uh, the winery and then also the drive to Industrial Eats. And the colors are amazing. They look like paintings to me, but they're real. This is the Flying Flags RV Resort in Buellton, and it's right off the freeway. Uh, it's kind of like a parking lot, so it's definitely crowded. It, it wouldn't be a place that we would like, but obviously it's popular. We finally got to Industrial Eats, which is in Buellton, and oh my goodness, the food is amazing. You have to check it out. And then we made our way over to Cold Spring Tavern, another place you need to check out. A uh, really fun place that usually has music on Fridays and Saturdays, and they do a tri-tip barbecue on the weekend. And it was rainy, so it was a little bit of a, a downer but uh, the band was great and we still had a great time.